Mathematical modeling, it allows you to actually interrogate the data. It allows you to understand what really happens on the ground. It allows you to answer the question, what's behind what you see. And even more importantly, it allows you to actually make predictions and make forecasts. So behind every simple thing such as weather forecast or uh, any economic prediction, actually there lies mathematical models that also allow you to investigate different scenarios. I got involved in the mathematical modeling of bacterial meningitis in Africa uh, when I was a lecturer in the complexity center at the University of Bristol. What I didn't realize at the start of the project was that uh, meningococcal meningitis actually is a major disease affecting a very large part of Africa, namely or something that's known as an African meningitis belt, which spreads uh, from Senegal on one side uh, to Ethiopia on the other side, and it contains 26 countries. In the region most badly hit by meningitis, there's a distinct dry and rainy season. And in some dry seasons, there are small outbreaks, and in other, there are very large epidemics. It's especially feared in rural communities because it's a very quick disease to strike. So quite often, it will uh, infect your child, and your child will become very sick very quickly and can die before they reach medical attention. We believe the most important practical aspect of our model, once it was delivered and uh, once it was communicated to epidemiologists and clinical professionals on the ground, was that now they understand the very important role that is played by temporary immunity in the disease dynamics, and also they were able to understand that actually by mathematical modeling of the disease propagation, it is able to get a much better understanding of how effective the vaccine is once it is deployed. We've had interest from bodies such as the World Health Organization and the Global Alliance for Vaccination and Immunization. We'd like to use our work to decide the best way to vaccinate people against meningitis. And we think that the research that we've done is going to be really useful in terms of helping people vaccinate most effectively and save as many lives as possible. We are uh, providing real methodology for those who do deliver the vaccine to have a grasp on how effective that is. So even though I'm not directly involved in collecting data or treating patients, I uh, get a really good feeling from the fact that the mathematical model that we developed uh, is really helping those who are observing the disease every day and who are treating patients to really uh, change the way they think about the disease and the way they treat it and the way they combat the devastating effect it has on populations.